Uh, we are looking tonight, and uh, for those who are watching this as a review uh, after the fact, you should know that uh, this is our uh, special just before Halloween, so if you're wondering why we are dressed like this, this is not normal. Uh, <laughs> but we are reviewing tonight uh, this awesome device from LEI Electronics, Inc. Uh, you'll find them online at leiproducts.com. This is, I mean, I always thought this is so cool. Um, my wife and I went to Bermuda uh, for our honeymoon, and we went all over the island trying to find an unwater, underwater camera because going snorkeling, I wanted to have uh, underwater photos, so mm -hmm. I thought it would be really great to have. So looked around, finally found a convenience store, and if you, if you think that convenience stores are expensive when you're you know, on mainland, mm -hmm. imagine uh, on an island, oh, yeah. things are you know, through the roof. So mm -hmm. we ended up getting just a disposable underwater camera, and that worked fine. This, on the other hand, is something you can pick up on the mainland. This is the liquid image device, and this is a digital uh, five, five megapixel uh, still camera with uh, also built in, you can uh, record to a micro SD card uh, a VGA video. So you're able to actually do video as well as uh, the pictures themselves. So we're going to uh, check this out a little bit, uh, little, find out a little bit more information about it. Uh, but this is really cool. I mean, this would have been awesome in Bermuda. If you yeah. do any snorkeling, uh, whether you're traveling this winter, this is a great Christmas gift. I mean, this is something that, you know, anybody who's going to be traveling, you should have this, I think. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. And it's, you can see it's just, it's just a snorkeling mask. Like just like a diving mask, but yeah. it's got the built-in camera. Just got two buttons, so it's it's absolutely simple. And you just push the button to switch between you know camera mode and video mode, and then hit record. So, very very cool. We're gonna check this out. Rex Damien says, uh, "Carrie, make sure he puts that puppy on. They want to see you wear it." Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's here it. we go. Okay, with the hair. Oh, isn't, that's nice. Isn't that hot? <laughs> I mean, really? No, but this is you know it's a good quality mask, and it, and it uh, you know. Yeah. We're going to take a look at that right now. Right on. All right. Now, I'm, I'm a, a geek, so I understand digital cameras, but I am not at all a diver. I've been snorkeling once, um, and today we are looking at the Liquid Image Digital Camera Mask. And uh, because I don't know anything about diving, we're actually on site with, uh, with Tim at Tim's Diving Supplies. Tim, thanks for being on the show. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, how long have you been diving, Tim? I started in 1986. I worked all through high school um, at a dive shop and then started my own business in 1998, so I've been in business for 10 years and uh, moving on to, uh, towards my 11th year. When we choose a mask for scuba related uh, products, we want to have some certain features. Number one is a nose well, which you can see this clearly uh, defines that you can equalize your ears when you go underwater. Okay. Um, adjustable buckles to fit different people's head and, and uh, one thing I had noticed about the strap, uh, this particular strap is a little small but in the same time it has the capability of, of taking, it looks uh, like a s standard scuba strap so replacement in the future um, it can do that and buckle system. It has tempered glass, safety glass, nose well, adjustable straps, good double seal on the actual skirt of the mask, creates uh, additional seal. Um, no, I think it looks looks very good. Buttons are easy to work, and uh, I think it has all the the safety features in a mask. The ultimate though is if it fits you, it's got to fit you. It's like having a pair of running shoes. If they don't fit your feet, they're no good to you. Um, which uh, this seems to be a fairly low volume air space, which uh, ultimately would allow fit to to the average size person. Um, if you get a guy with a big uh, head, they might have a problem f having this fit their face. Right. So then you might have some water leak in or something? That's correct, and that would be the only frustrating part about the product. If, if, you, uh, if you don't get a good seal on your face, in turn, uh, then to have your mask constantly flooding, it, it gets a little frustrating. When, it, when you try the mask on, you actually put it to your face. Ultimately, a mask, you could, should be able to put it on and just push it to your face, creating a vacuum to hold it to your face. Now, because I have a mustache, it's very hard to, for me to achieve that. But ultimately, breathing in and then pulling off, you should feel a suction. Average size guy, would, it would fit fine. Guys with mustaches, it's the same old, uh, you either shave it off or, or uh, it's tough to get a good seal that fits you. So you can't blame the product if you have a mustache for not fitting you properly. Is that pretty typical of masks? Yeah. With, when you look at masks in general, um, people come in all the time with a big mustache and it's hard to get a good seal if they're, if they're not clean shaven. If you open up this uh, compartment right here, you'll see that there's uh, a spot to put a micro SD card so you can expand the unit. So uh, the integrated uh, memory is only 16 megs. So you're going to want to get a micro SD card for that. 
you can buy like a one gig card for under 10 bucks these days and uh, you both your USB and your uh, micro SD ports are right there. So it's just a straight connection to your computer through USB. Excellent, excellent. Really, really easy to get your photos in. Of course, if you've got a card reader or something like that, you just pop out that micro SD card and be able to read it directly you know, on your computer. What's the card capability for this product? As far as it goes, a one gig card is going to hold about 2100 pictures if, uh, at, at five megapixels. Yeah, that's great. Um, digital cameras have, have really come forward in the industry. The old uh, 35 millimeter, uh, on average roll of film, a diver may only get three pictures out of the whole roll that actually turned out. So this having capability, guys could uh, be very comfortable just pushing the button and snapping pictures as they go. So right. You don't have to be concerned with 2100 picture capacity. You don't have to be concerned about running out. Yeah, no, that seems like a really neat product. And it'd be interesting to see how it actually would work in, in a Caribbean setting, uh, taking pictures of, of some fish and coral, etc., and how the colors and that would show up on the, on the camera. Like this unit here re relies on basically the sunshine to get a good picture. Um, is that fairly common with, uh, with underwater units, that you need to have a separate source of, of light? Well, what happens, because it's only rated to 15 feet of water to begin with, in shallow water, typically, you have natural sunlight. It's where you get deeper that you need uh, flashes in most cases. We lose uh, uh, color due to the absorption of light when we go under the water, so that's where, uh, in turn, we have to use... Uh, some form of artificial light to enhance photos. Now this mask at five megapixels is rated uh, is priced at $130. Uh, so that's like with the five megapixel camera, it does video and uh, photography, uh, and everything that you see here uh, with the quality of the mask. Like, what does a what does a, a a mask of this quality say without the uh, camera built in? What would you say that that, that would normally go for? I would say uh, a mask of this uh, quality, is feeling the, the supple silicone. Um, I would think you're on an average of probably about, say, $75 for just the mask itself. And so realistically, when you put a camera in it for, you know, 50 bucks and, and do a package on top, I think that's a good value for your money. And they do have a 3.1 megapixel model as well. This one sells for only $100. So based on that, I mean, 20 bucks to get a, a built-in video camera, a uh, built-in uh, underwater camera is pretty cool. Very good deal. Yeah, that seems like a neat thing, and, and I think it'll just be a trial and error um, your first time out and just looking at things and shooting pictures and, and uh, mastering the skill of it. I, but I think it's, uh, it would be great for people uh, going on cruises and, and uh, Caribbean resorts. It just It's one less item you have to worry about, and mm -hmm. camera and mask all built into one. As far as for uh, snorkeling, I think this would be a really neat product. Um, for diving related, it's only rated to, I believe, 15 feet. So it's not too practical for diving applications, unless you're diving very shallowly, like in the Caribbean setting, if, if you're looking in, uh, at coral reefs, etc. Yeah, I remember, like when, when my wife and I went to Bermuda, uh, I remember the coral was, you could almost stand on it, even at my height, so, so that would be pretty ideal for that. Right, um, where the average dive in the Caribbean, people will do, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet of water. So for that application, it wouldn't be uh, too practical. But for the average uh, person going down to the Caribbean and, and just wanting something unique, a, a gadget or toy, this looks like a pretty neat product. We'll be posting the URLs to, uh, to that website uh, after the show as well uh, in the show notes for Category 5 Technology TV, episode number 58. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Agamotto was saying 15 feet isn't too bad. Absolutely, I'd agree. Um, like I was saying there, um, when we went to Bermuda, it was, mm -hmm. it was like, you know, the coral was literally, you could almost, you, you don't want to stand on it because you're either going right. to cut your feet or kill the ecosystem, but uh, <laughs> certainly like it's that close to you. So yeah, 15 feet is more than enough for snorkeling, but I think his point there was just if you were diving, if you're planning to go down 40 feet, then obviously you're not going to get enough light, plus the unit isn't made for that. But definitely, uh, definitely, you know, it's a great device if you're thinking about, you know, like you said, going on a cruise. I think that would be really awesome. It's one of those things that you know I don't mind like endorsing and saying you should go out and get this because it's, it's so unique. Cool. It's yeah. so neat. Yeah, and yeah. really like this is the first opportunity you could do something like that, like, taking an, an amateur video underwater without being Jacques Cousteau, right? Yeah, well, f just... uh, from 100 to 130 dollars for the two models, yeah. and both of them take the video at 640 by 480. So the video footage that you saw there it runs about 20 20 frames per second. Somebody was mentioning it's a bit choppy, but you know what? Like I say, uh, ni 99 bucks to 130 bucks. It's, it's pretty spectacular for that. Yeah. So Better than a postcard. Yeah, definitely better than a postcard. We've got so much to cover tonight. I want to show you guys just a touch of Ubuntu. We're not really going to get into it.